Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to learn about uh, Edit Poly and the vertex mode, the weld commands of Edit Poly. Uh, what I mean with weld is, let me show you a simple uh, example. Uh, I'm going to create a plane for this. I'm going to hit G so that we don't see the grids. And I'm going to just decrease the segments to one by one so that I have a simple face or a simple quad plane. Now what I want to do is I want to weld the corners of the, the new uh, plane. I've created a copy uh, to the original plane. The first thing we need to do is to add an edit poly, hit attach and attach these two together and they're connected or they're uh, joined into one object. Now if I add one, uh, you know that I'm going to go into the vertex mode uh, and you will see that we have a new box uh, in here, new tab in here called Edit Vertices. And under here we have Remove, Break, Extrude and whatever. Uh, first uh, two things we are going to see is Weld and Target Weld, uh, which we will use a lot throughout uh, our modeling uh, journey. Uh, what these do is uh, it helps us get this vertex, move it here and weld this vertex to this one or fuse them together. Uh, it's not the same as moving the vertex. Let me show that to you. If you select this vertex, hit S for the snaps and just grab this and move it here. Yeah, they are on top of each other, but they are not welded together. If you want to try this out, you need to click on this once. Uh, don't make a window selection because that way it will select both of the vertices. But if you click on this once, it will select one of the vertices. And then you can move this up and you can see that they are not really welded together. Okay, uh, let's say we had a an edge in here. If I hit one and move this up, you will see that they are welded together. They, uh, sorry, let's uh, select this by clicking and move it up. Uh, you can see that they are really joined or fused with each other, but these two are not. So to make these two, uh, like these two vertices, actually there, there are three vertices like this in here. Yeah, no, no, there, there are two because one for this corner, one for this corner. Yeah, there are two. Whatever. Uh, to make this, uh, these two vertices like this one in here, join uh, into one vertex, you need to go to target weld. Just click here and click here, and they are really, really joined now. If you uh, right click, get out of this command, click here once, and move this up, you can see that they are joined together. And you, uh, let's do the same for this. And you can see that this is joined too. And uh, one more thing is if you hit five, go to the element mode and select this, you can see that they're joined into one element as well. So they're joined, really joined together. Okay. Uh, attaching uh, will only make them appear under the same object, but welding will make them into one element or convert them into one element, which is really joining like, yeah, like an element, I guess. Okay. Now, why would this be necessary? Why, why we don't we just move the vertices on top of the other vertices and be, uh, be done with it? Why do we need to do it like this? I want to talk about this a little bit. Uh, let's bring in some examples. Uh, I've chosen some examples in here for you and some different scenarios, different uh, objects. And I want to examine these a little bit. Okay. If you want to model this, we would create a box, right? for this leg and then just it extrude this maybe and scale this down a little bit and this is one piece and you can see that this is a completely uh, other piece so this is uh, we know that this is not welded to this one right these are two separate elements at least uh, they don't need to be two separate objects they can be joined they can be attached but they can't be welded if you do that and then uh, add a chamfer let me show that to you we welded this and if we add a chamfer now you can see that they are filleted or they are uh, chamfered towards each other like this. The corner is chamfered towards uh, the each object. They are not uh, separate like this one, okay? This is chamfered inwards and this is chamfered inwards and there is a seam in here we see. But in here we don't see a seam, okay? These are joined together. So this is why you should use weld. And I'm going to show you some cases that it will be necessary. But for this uh, example, they are all separate boxes and this is made up of a lot of boxes, I, I, I guess. So let's go to this example. 
in here you can see that we don't have a seam between these two the, uh, it looks like there is one but uh, if we check these we don't really see a seam at least they are not uh, chamfered inwards maybe there's a, a little bit of a seam of a weld operation uh, but we they look smooth they look joined together so while creating these we can just go ahead and create uh, a box another box and just attach them and bridge them and we don't need to uh, we should weld them together okay so uh, in real life i guess if they are welded we should weld them together we can remember this so we don't have a seam uh, inwards when we add a chamfer okay maybe in the diffuse channel there is something but if you touch this and try to feel a seam you i guess you won't be able to if this if the operator is a good welder you won't you shouldn't be able to see uh, or sense a seam between those two objects but this object is a separate object this, this is not welded to this because uh, we can clearly see a seam in here right so if we go to this example this is very interesting uh, as you can see the seam is not always like this you it can be like this as well so uh, there is a seam in here these are not welded together but the shape is diagonal we, we don't have a box in here and another box in here we have two boxes but then we join the uh, corners uh, with a diagonal and this is a very interesting example if you have a wall like this I know this wall is uh, manufactured separately of course because let's say the, it's made up of bricks uh, we lay a layer of bricks in here another layer here and they are not joined together in any way but the thing we see in here even though this is not a very high quality image the thing we see in here is the paint and because we paint the whole thing um, over and when the paint gets dry it joins together this looks like it's welded and if I would try to create a realistic wall I would weld them together and when I chamfer I should see this inner fillet in here okay uh, I guess you see what I mean with these examples so we should decide according according to this uh, let's see another way that we can weld objects together again I'm going to create a, a plane I'm going to copy this rotate this a little bit add and edit poly to one of these hit one you can see that I can just select the vertices and play with them hit attach and join these two and now uh, we used uh, target weld uh, for the first example now I want to use weld itself if I select these two edges uh, corners and hit weld you can see that nothing happens because we have a threshold value for weld if you hit the settings you will see that we have a threshold value in here and it is one point uh, uh, sorry 0 0.1 centimeters and they are clearly more far away uh, from each other than this threshold so if I increase this, let's say I want to increase this to 30. You can see that these two edges are welded together. But unlike um, target weld, it moves both of the vertices and joins them at the center and weld them like that. Let me show that to you again. If I just select these two, hit weld settings, just check the vertices, positions of the vertices. They will move to the midpoint and join there so we deform the shape of this plane so be careful about this if you have uh, two separate objects like that and you want to keep the point of these vertices you don't want to move them then use target weld actually I use target weld most of the time and I have a sh I even have a for shortcut for that it's alt Z and I can just weld them like this okay and these are two uh, now this is one separate uh, sorry one um, joint uh, element okay if I hit uh, apply chamfer again you can see that uh, this is just like the wall corner in here right uh, they are welded towards uh, each other uh, sorry chamfered towards each other okay Okay, I hope you uh, get what uh, weld uh, and target weld does and how do we use it or why do we use it. Uh, I hope this was useful for you. Thanks for listening. If this was useful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button and see you in the next lesson.